टूडे आई डिसकस अबाउट मैनग्रोव हैबिटेट्स इन इंडिया अकॉर्डिंग टू इंडिया स्टेट ऑफ फॉरेस्ट रिपोर्ट 2021, द इंडियस मैनग्रोव कवर इज 4,992 थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी टू स्क्वायर किलोमीटर दिस इनक्लूड्स वन थाउजेंड फोर स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ऑफ वेरी डेंस मैनग्रोव वन स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ऑफ मॉडरेटली डेंस फॉरेस्ट एंड 2086 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ऑफ डिग्रेडेड फॉरेस्ट और ओपन मैनग्रोव सो मेजर मैनग्रोव फॉरेस्ट स्प्रेड्स अलोंग द ईस्ट कोस्ट एंड अंदमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड वाइल इन द वेस्ट कोस्ट दे आर प्रीडोमिनेंटली लोकलाइज्ड मेजर मैनग्रोव रीजियंस ऑफ द इंडियन coast is shown uh, here in 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 this slide andaman and nicobar is the third highest mangrove cover in india after west bengal and gujarat west coast consists of gujarat daman dew dadra and nagar haveli maharashtra goa karnataka and kerala and east coast consists of तमिलनाडु पुडुचेरी आंध्र प्रदेश ओडिशा एंड वेस्ट बेंगल नाउ आई एम शिफ्टिंग फ्रॉम मैनग्रोव फॉरेस्ट टू मैनग्रोव वेटलैंड मैनग्रोव वेटलैंड आर लोकलाइज अलोंग द ईस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया एज अ मेजर रिवर्स ऑफ द इंडो गैंजेटिक प्लेन एंड दे कैन प्ले टू discharges into bay of bengal as we know that uh, for the survival as uh, survival of uh, coastal wetlands uh, for survival of coastal wetlands both fresh water and saline water are required uh, to be juxt- juxtaposed there so uh, so the largest continuous mangrove patches in the east coast आर पिचाबरम मैनग्रोव वेटलैंड तमिलनाडु मुठुपेट मैनग्रोव वेटलैंड इज ऑल्सो इन तमिलनाडु गोदावरी मैनग्रोव वेटलैंड आंध्र प्रदेश कृष्णा मैनग्रोव वेटलैंड आंध्र प्रदेश महानदी मैनग्रोव वेटलैंड ओडिशा भितरकोणिका मैनग्रोव वेटलैंड ओडिशा सुंदरबन मैनग्रोव वेटलैंड वेस्ट बेंगल Uh, uh, for the dominant mangrove wetlands along east coast uh, we can read this paper and now i am going to describe these wetlands mostly from this article and uh, our the figure of of uh, particularly for area of mangrove etc may be changed uh, uh, as as uh, time has changed so we now going to discuss about pichavaram mangrove wetland so it's located between uh kolirun and velur estuary in the state of tamil nadu and the latitude is 11 degree 23 north 23 minute north to 11 degree 30 minutes north and longitude is 79 degree 45 minutes east to 79 degree 50 minutes east and mangrove cover is nearly 11 square kilometer dominated species here is abyssinia marina and uh, other species is some uh, rhizophora species so rhizophora micronata and rhizophora apiculata and excoecaria uh, agalocha it is found but in 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 low abundance so the threat is uh, regular inflow of pollutants generated from industrial discharge agricultural runoff and sewage connectivity was lost between pichavaram mangrove wetlands and velur estuary due to heavy siltation uh, which resulted in the formation of large mud um, flats contrary to beach formation because beach formation guards wetland from any direct interaction with the bay of bengal tidal water inflow to the wetland is also reduced due to formation of new sand spit in the mouth of 
colon river so over overall the reduction in mangrove uh, cover from around 40 square kilometer which is found uh, in, in in different uh, paper or article at the beginning of 20th century uh, uh, but to now it is 11 square kilometer only so 40 square kilometer was at the beginning of 20th century so Muthupet mangrove wetlands uh, at its coordinates is 10 degree 25 minutes and longitude is uh, latitude is 20, uh, 10 degree 25 minutes north and longitude is 79 degree 30 minutes east and it is located at the southern end of Kaveri Delta in the state of Tamil Nadu and the wetland is surrounded by mud flats uh, in the north uh, north and Park Strait that is in, in Bengal it is called Pokronali in south. So the mangrove cover is nearly 12.3 square kilometer as per the Forest Survey Report 2021. So this figure may vary with the article which I have uh, give, give shown you earlier. So and dominated species is there is uh, around eight ma mangrove species. Abyssinia maris, marina is dominant, and it is found that that the Sonaracea and Rhizophora species are locally become extinct due to the paleological uh, studies, paleological studies. So a number of major and minor dams constructed on the river of Kaveri River and system as a result of discharge of fresh uh, water and deposition of sediment was reduced. So, so uh, this has resulted in the increase in, in soil salinity and disappearance of mangrove species and uh, also the mangrove cover uh, that was in nine that was uh, th around 32 square kilometers in uh, 1976 and now it is 12.3 square kilometer now i come to uh, the next wetlands that is godavari mangrove wetland it is situated uh, between latitude 16 degree 30 minute to uh, 16 degree 55 minutes north and longitude between 82 degree 10 minutes east to 82 degree 20 minutes east and it is in uh, situated on the east godavari district of andhra pradesh so the mangrove cover is very large here here you can find that 126 square kilometer dense forest and 62 a square kilometer of a degraded forest as per the forest survey post 2021 so overall the mangrove uh, cover is uh, 188 square kilometer so 15 types of uh, species of true man mangrove species has been recorded here and uh, important uh, mangrove forest is highly enriched in natural resources so it is typically acting as a breeding ground of several species of fish uh, and uh, crustaceans. So crustaceans. So issues here is mangrove wetlands is gradually converted into aquaculture farm for uh, uh, prawn farming, and this has contributed to annual production of about 12,000 tons of shrimp from converted wetlands. But uh, an, an, an increase of 5.9 square kilometer of mangrove cover was recorded uh, between 1986 to 2001 due to sediment deposition by the river Godavari and its distributaries. Now Krishna mangrove wetlands. The coordinates latitude is 15 degree 50 minutes north to 15 degrees 55 minutes north and longitude is 80 degree 45 minutes east to 80 degree 50 minutes east and it spread across Gunther and Krishna districts of Andhra Pradesh and according to the forest survey report 2021 mangrove cover is 2005 uh, to 205.73 uh, square kilometer. The freshwater source of, my, of, of this wetlands is River Krishna and its distributary. And the, and the livelihood of this local people is basically uh, from fishing, fishery or fishing activities. They also collect wood and uh, dry 
tricks for raw materials for construction, boat making, boat making, fencing, and fuel. So the issues here are coastal erosion is of serious concern in case in Krishna Delta, as erosion is a dominant process throughout the coastline, while deposition occurs only in limited zone. And the conversion, and the second one is conversion of mangrove wetlands to aquaculture. This is basically the problem of everywhere to shoreline retreat in Krishna Delta. And natural regeneration of mangroves with an overall increase in mangrove cover is noticed here according to the uh, Forest Survey Report 2030. If we compare this from 2013 to 2021, you will find that around 48 square kilometer of the of mangrove has increased. Mohanadi mangrove wetlands. The latitude is 20 degree 18 minutes to 20 degree 32 minutes north and longitude is 86 degree 41 minutes to 86 degree 48 minute uh, east. So this is uh, this is situated uh, between Jagri Jord in the north and River Mohanadi in the south of Odisha. Mangrove cover is 45 square kilometer. 34 true uh, mangrove species has uh, been recorded uh, so far. So Abyssinia officinalis, Abyssinia marina, Sonaracea appellata, uh, Exocaicoria uh, agalocha, Rhizophora, uh, mucronata, mucronata or main dominated species here. And River Mohanodi and is, is, is distributary are the main source of fresh water uh, uh, to this wetland. And the threats here is continuous increase in anthropogenic pressure uh, has caused degradation of mangrove wetland. The discharge of wastewater from aquaculture pond has caused mass destruction of mangrove habitats. And its effect is, is in, 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 in 1973 there was uh, 69 square kilometer mangrove cover. Uh, but uh, what, however, within a span of three decades, dense mangrove forest has has uh, was increased was increased to 36 while open forest uh, the mangrove forest increased to 36 percent while open mangrove forest has decreased to 9.3 square kilometer. Bithorkonika mangrove forest, this is the second largest mangrove forest in India, located in Kendrapara district of Odisha. Latitude is 20 degree 40 minutes to 20 degree 48 minutes mm -hmm. north and longitude is 86 degree 45 minutes to 87 degree 50 minutes east. So the cover is uh, 209.25 square kilometer. Dominant species is around 28 uh, species of true mangroves and four species of mangroves associated uh, mangrove associate have been uh, reported so far and uh, Excaicaria, Agalocha, Heritaria, uh, Avanesia, this is the main dominant species there. So local economy is local inhabitants collect timber and non-timber forest products for firewood house and boat making, thatching and fodder. Uh, and, and fodder. So livelihood, fishing is, is the main source of livelihood for majority of, the, of inhabitants living in this region. So the collection of forest wood has decreased uh, following declaration of a wildlife sanctuary in 1975 by the government of Odisha. So now we come to the our last wetlands that is Sundarban mangrove wetlands. We have discussed these wetlands in in a large series sometimes because Sundarban wetlands is very important and the second arms uh, sites of this uh, of the state of West Bengal. So here I can uh, before I going to uh, give you the, about the 
uh, about this Sundarban wetland, I just want to say that when you see my first uh, second slide, basically that this is the mangrove cover of West Bengal was written as 2,114 square kilometer. But here the Indian Sundarban cover is 4,230 square kilometer. This is taken from the Ramsar information sheet of Sundar, Sundarban wetlands. So Sundarban wetlands and Sundarban mangrove area is altogether different. So the coordinates is 21 degree 30 minutes to 22 degree uh, 30 minutes north and lot, la, longitude is 80 degree 10 minutes to 89 degree 51 minutes east and is bordered by Hooghly River in the west and River Baleshwar in Bangladesh in the east and the river uh, in Banga demarcates Indian and Bangladesh part of Sundarban. It is the home of world largest continuous block of mangrove wetlands, Indian part of Sundarban cover, as I told earlier, an area of 4,230 square millimeter, uh, kilometer, where Bangladesh part covers an area of 6,017 square kilometer. Dominant species is about 30 species of true mangrove has been reported so far. So the issue, the region is vulnerable to coastal erosion and inundated due to rise in sea level. Most of the distributaries of river Ganges has silted up and carries very little quantities of fresh water except during monsoon causing increase in salinity. High salinity tolerance species that is Abyssinia, Alba, Exo, Kaikoria, Agalocha are gradually replacing uh, hereditary forms and sonar asia that are required regular supply of fresh water for their growth as i told earlier that the both fresh water and saline water is required for survival of coastal wetlands conversion of mangrove wetlands to paddy field cultivation or stream farming over exploitation of biodiversity of sundarban so livelihood local inhabitants are involved in commercial exploitation of uh, hereditary forms, Abyssinia marina for boat making, poles, rafter. They collect firewood leaves uh, for roofing, especially for from Nima, and grass for 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 fodder for, for fish, and fish stream, honey and wax from mangrove trees, especially uh, from this Abyssinia marina. Seriops species and uh, agilitis, so this kind of species. So, but if we uh, think uh, calculate from the British colonial era to recent uh, 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 recent Sundarban combined Sundarban from in, in both in India and Bangladesh, it will find that that during the British colonial era Sundarban covers. Uh, an area of uh, of 19,508 square kilometer. So, in, but by both together, it is now it is just is uh, above 10,247 square kilometers. So, so uh, this is all about the mangrove region and the habitats of mangrove in India. So this is the reference. This is for for more detailed if you interested then you can read this uh, references, one paper and two for survey reports are there. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video.